Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you how to use iron on tape for no sew hemming. This will be a very simple tutorial, so let's get right into the video. As you can see right here, I have this iron on tape. I'm gonna move the iron out of the way, actually. Um, but this is the package that it came in right over here. Um, they have a few different options with regards to thicknesses, size, length, and strength. Um, but basically, it came in this package, and you wanna choose the size that works for the medium that you're using. So here's how to do it. You're gonna use this iron on tape to actually bond pieces of fabric together. So it allows you to hem things without actually sewing, which is fantastic. I have this old piece of fabric from an old curtain that I hem. What you wanna do first and foremost is create your hemline, okay? So I'm gonna fold it and let's say this is where I wanted it to be hemmed right here, okay? So I'm gonna use my iron on a, uh, I'd say a higher medium setting and I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna iron on this line right here. We are creating the hemline and you want the iron to be relatively dry. You don't wanna steam it too much. A Little bit of steam is okay, but relatively dry. So right now, when I open it up, you can see right here, this line is my hemline. So you can see we've created that line right there. That's the hemline. So I know exactly where I want everything to be. And you wanna make sure that it's nice and straight and so forth. Then what you wanna do is get your tape. The good thing about these iron-on tapes, these no-sew hemming tapes, is that um, they essentially, it doesn't matter which way you put them. Um, so you wanna go all the way from one end to the other and you wanna place it, I would say about a quarter of an inch to half an inch um, above the hemline. So here's my hemline, okay? And I'm gonna be placing it, like I said, it doesn't have to be precise, but around just a little bit above the line itself. Okay, and I'm going all the way from one end to the other, and I like to just press it down. The good thing about the fabric is that it's still warm from the iron, so the tape is, is sticking to it for the most part. It popped up there, but I'm just pushing it down lightly, and you don't even need scissors. The good thing is at the end of it, you just rip it off. So really, really cool. Um, I guess the fabric wasn't as warm as I thought it was. Okay, so I now have the tape there. As you can see, that no hem tape is right there. I know it's kind of hard to see because the color is the same as the, as the fabric, but I'm gonna now fold, carefully fold along that hemline again, okay? And the tape is right under here. I'm gonna push down with my hands one time. Obviously, the, make sure the fabric is really cool by the time you push down. This fabric is, is already really cool um, because it's been a while. Um, and then now what we're gonna do is we're going to run the iron over it for about three seconds on either side, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and we wanna hit each spot for, I'd say around three seconds. It, obviously, it's gonna be a little bit more in this situation, um, but it, it, I mean, it, this is all rough. So we did that side, okay? Now we're gonna carefully flip it over, carefully flip it over not ruining the hemline or the tape in position. And we're gonna iron on the other side like this. Okay, once again, doing the same thing, okay? Just like that. And then what you can do is, you can give it a few moments to cool down because the tape is actually bonding the fabrics together right now, okay? Um, what I like to do is sometimes I'll go over it another time if I see it didn't bond. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this back and I'm gonna see if we have a bond and as you can see right here, I'm gonna hold it up. Look at that, we bonded the fabric together. So we don't need to go over with the iron again. On occasion, you might have to go over it one more time, but I would suggest that you take a look at the fabric first, see if it's bonded, and then you can decide whether or not you have to go over it again. But look at that, we bonded the fabric together. So we made a hem, we made a hem without any sewing, using this fabric tape, this stuff is worth its weight in gold in my opinion because I know how to sew, but I'm not a fan of sewing. And if I can avoid it, I try to avoid it. Um, so this is something that works really well, um, especially in situations where you need something hemmed um, and it's, you're not gonna be touching it, like curtains, where you can use this on curtains because you just open and close them. And not, you're not like, you're, they're not you know moving quite a bit. They're just barely moving at all. But either way, it's good to go. This stuff is awesome. Even on high use situations, I would just recommend if you're doing like a pair of jeans or something that has more movement, that you use a stronger uh, no-sew tape 
okay? A stronger iron-on tape, this way you really get the most of it and you get that long-lasting durability from it. But that's it, use whatever tape you need for the application that you're doing. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.